Hello and welcome to this short video. My name is Matt Hyland and today I'm going to show you how we can extend your pressure vessel um, by modeling some extra components on the end of nozzles. And specifically, I'm going to be talking about piping components today. Now, we've all read the code book where it says that the vessel ends at the first welded joint or to the first flange phase. And while most of us out there, this is how we've gone about modeling, there are situations where we have to extend these nozzles for the cases where, you know, I'll rotate this vessel around, you have a nozzle coming out of a bottom head and you want to elbow it and you want it to come out of a skirt opening like so. Or you just want to add on a, for whatever reason for the design, you've got an elbow and some other components that you want to add on to it. And we can do that. Now, just a note here, if you do model these in our division one document, they're just going to be handled under UG44 and then they'll be rolled into the output report. So you won't need to merge any reports or do any additional work outside of compress. But how do we actually go about modeling this? So I'm going to flip over to my model here. Now I just set up a basic model with two heads in a cylinder and a nozzle coming out of the bottom. And up at the top here, I've got this toolbar. I'm going to drag it down here. It's called our standard components toolbar. So this is going to, going to allow us to snap pipes, elbows, reducers, flanges, pipe caps, at the end of this nozzle. So I'll just add this back up here, like so. And let's go ahead and add them. So very easily, because we have the quick design activated, I'll just add a piece of pipe. At the bottom, you see the green pipe. It's been added. I'm gonna then snap a elbow onto this, followed by another pipe. And then finally, a flange. And then that would be, and then I could go and add my skirt with my skirt opening, and that would be accommodated for us. Now let's just do it again. Now I'm going to just add a quick nozzle here. I'm going to press my F2 function key. And again, I'm going to take advantage of our drag and drop feature, like so. And maybe we want to put a reducer on the end of this, like so, with pipe, and maybe even a flange, like so. So you can see I can easily and quickly snap these piping components onto the end of my nozzle. And again, when I go ahead and I run the calculations, all these components will be accounted for and put into the output report for you. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or you'd like to see a demonstration, please do not hesitate to contact sales at coder.com or give us a call at 941-927-2670.